Thursday night, Tampa Bay, Atlanta, NFC South divisional matchup. The Falcons favored by a point and a half, the total around 43. Uh, who do you like in this one? All of the Bucks receivers seem to be on the uh, injury report, <laughs> yeah. except Chris Godwin. Or Sterling Shepard, uh, who is yes. my dart throw in this game at 1,600. But yeah, you you nailed it. Like We need to monitor this wide receiver three situation um, because last week, rookie Jalen McMillan uh, missed the game due to a hamstring injury. Uh, didn't practice Monday. Not sure what the deal is today, but I'm just guessing on the short week, he's probably closer to doubtful. Uh, and his replacement, Trey Palmer, uh, suffered a concussion. So yeah. I, I would say he's closer to doubtful. So um, Sterling Shepard would be the odds on favorite to be the number three receiver. Certainly the, the high floor option. Uh, so like him, uh, Cameron Johnson would be like a sneaky dart throw. Um, he could pop in this game, but he himself uh, is dealing with an ankle injury. So again, this could just lead to even more targets for uh, Sterling Shepard. Um, so I think when it comes to the, this wide receiver group, I think Shepard's the way to go. But still, we need to monitor the situation. Anything can happen from now until uh, kickoff. Yeah, Shepard looked good out there. He got caught three balls for 51. Uh, he was flexing, I think, after one of the catches. Uh, <laughs> nice. he ran around on, I think, like 65%. Of the dropbacks, so yeah, I mean, he was—he's always been kind of underrated with the Giants. He always was able to get open and get separation. Just suffered a string of devastating injuries, but uh, maybe he's a little—he's back. You know, he's thirty-one now, so you don't expect too much from him. But he looked—he looked pretty decent out there uh, in that Eagles game. 